subscribe button and join the tribe. I'm gonna go over what products I use to create the contour look that I'm about to show you. It was my first time contouring, so maybe these tips will work for another person who is going through the first time contouring. If not, maybe you guys have some tips for me if you are really good at this. Regardless, thank you for joining me for my first Beauty Bit mini episode. Let's get right into it. I did a light base of my typical double duty cream base and then I put this over it. Then I did the contouring. I started off with this cream based palette where I used some of these medium colors to put kind of a light cream base. I like to use a cream base when I'm doing my full coverage cover up and then putting a powder over it to really set my makeup into place. It helps when I start sweating for my makeup not to melt off my face. So it's been really great, especially when I was in Hawaii. I was the only one that had makeup staying on my face because I do the cream and then the powder to set. Then I took the Ulta Beauty and I used this for my main contouring. This color. I did a light look of this and then I did this on the lighter color. I used my Tarte C setting spray and I went ahead and set in my foundation and my contouring and then I put a light base of the Smooth Operator Tarte Powder to lock everything into place. Then I used the Sugar blush on the apples of my cheeks. Then I use the Stilla eyeliner. I love it because it's a waterline eyeliner and it's a twist up. So it's not hurtful on my eyes and it actually lasts quite a long time. Then I use the Huda Beauty eyeshadow. These are the colors. You can kind of tell the ones I use the most. And I actually used the browner bronzy one with a light layer of the gold. Then I finished off my eyes with a They're Real mascara. I cleaned up the under part of my eye with the Be Bright Illuminator Concealer. I used the Perfusion Brows. And then for my lip, I love this color, but I used the Huda Beauty Lip. All right guys, now let me tell you the process of how I use these products to do my contouring look. So every time I've ever tried to contour my face, it's always been like either orangey, it doesn't blend right, or I just don't plain understand the concept of the lines and where they need to go, and then it just looks awful. So this is what I did today. I actually did some research on multiple different like websites and pictures, and I finally found one that fit my face features, and I actually just did the darker contour color right up here and then right on the side on both sides and then I did the darker contour on the side of my nose on the under parts of my cheekbone and then down here on the lower part of my chin and then I took the brighter color and I did it above my eyebrow below my eyebrow the bridge of my nose the upper lip line the lower lip line and the upper side of my cheek that way the color really blended together. Then I took my blender brush and I just dabbed it across so that it actually blended together. And then I used a little bit of my translucent powder to kind of keep it all in place. Then I used the Tarte setting spray to hold it all into place before I even did the rest of my makeup, right? So I did my full coverage. And then after I did the setting spray on the first layer, then I went in and I did my eyeliner which I used the Stilla eyeliner. And then I did the Huda eyeshadow, Huda lip color. And I did an overline, an underline, and then I threw on some mascara and did my brows. The way I do my brows is I just use a pencil to kind of do the outline. I keep it lighter over here in the top part so that it keeps it natural looking. And then I go over it with a powder, a brow powder. And then that's how I actually put this look together today. So let me know what you guys think. Again, this is the first time I've ever contoured my face. So if you guys have any tips, let me know in the comments below. If you do like this look, let me know in the comments below that I'm doing something right. And then stay tuned for Fit Friday where I'm gonna give you tips on how to avoid shin splints 
or even how you can stretch out those shin splints, especially when you're starting to work out. Those first two weeks are really rough, and if you're running on pavement, you're most likely gonna get those shin splints. So meet with me on Friday at this channel so that you can learn how to avoid shin splints and how to stretch them out if you do get them. Until then, I will see you guys later. Thanks again for coming back to my channel. Make sure if you like this video or found value in it, you give me a thumbs up. Share it out with your family and friends. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and if you turn on that notification bell, comment below so that you can be my next notification shout out. Thanks guys, and I will see you later for another video.